Hi guys, um, today this is a requested look that I got, um, got about 100 questions about it in my, um, I had several videos that I wore it in because I did them all in the same day, um, but it was the one where I did the update on what's going on in my life and then I did the one where I did, um, the, like the Sun Love, the bronzer, the spray bronzer, so, um, this is kind of like my look that I wear on a day to day basis when I don't really know what I want to do with color or anything like that. It's using my favorite line of um, cosmetics and, or not cosmetics, my favorite line of eyeshadow. It has, um, it's bedhead and um, absolutely love it. It's probably the best eyeshadow consistency I've ever found. Um, but yes, you guys have any questions or anything? Um, you guys want to know how to do this look? Keep on watching. Okay, so first I'm going to use um, Sin, and I just want something, um, you know, a primer similar to my skin tone, but I want it to have a little bit of shimmery effect. Make sure you go all the way up to the brow bone, and come down right under the tear duct. Next, I'm going to be using this gunmetal gray and it's called silver and it's from Tony and Guy no Ugh. from bedhead makeup and I'm gonna be using just this uh, medium sized shader brush and this stuff is really um, kind of like granulated so it, you can get a lot of fallout it's really pigmented so you make sure that you dust the brush off before, even though it is a pressed but pressed shadow, you want to make sure that you dust it off before you, you apply it to your eye. And you go all the way up right above the crease with it and try blending just a little bit. Okay, now that that's on, I'm going to be going in with a blending brush. It's very fluffy. And I'm just going to go around the corner and kind of blend up just a little bit to get rid of that harsh I still line. have a little line here and there but that's okay because we're going to be um, blending again later next I'm going to go in with a contouring brush and this is by Revlon and I'm going to be applying this and this is also by Bedhead and this is black it's what the name of it is and um, make sure and get it's a matte black Make sure that you dust out, dust off any fallout, and I'm just going to apply it in the crease. And I'm going to keep building until I get the color consistency that I want. Just keep applying until you get it as dark, and then until you get the shape that you want. And then if it's, you want to make sure and look at them, and if they aren't quite the same, add a little more. I'm going to go in with a pencil brush, or it's kind of like a pencil brush, it's more like a smudge pencil brush. And I'm going to go in right in my crease with it. You want to make sure that you blend, again, anything that needs to be blended. I keep looking to the right because I want to make sure that I'm in frame still. Okay. Now, this right here caused a little bit of fallout. That's okay. We'll get it taken care of in a minute. Next, I'm going to go in with the... It's another... Um, bedhead color and this is called white um, this one is also bedhead and this one is champagne and then um, 
This one is bedhead, and I can't for the life of me remember. This one's bedhead, and this one I think is burgundy. And then this one is bedhead, and this one's green. So, it's a very lime green. It's really pretty. But the colors are all so vibrant and... So what I'm going to do is take the white, that's what I was going to do, I just want just some, I'm going to use an angled shadow brush, just any brush, and I'm just going to get just a tiny bit on the tip of it, dust it off, and go right underneath just very lightly, underneath the highest point of my brow, blend it out, and then make sure to get some in your tear duct area and bring it, whoops, a little too much. Then I'm going to be taking Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil, and this is in zero, and this is my all-time favorite pencil. Um, liner. Make sure that it's a nice gradient effect. You want it to start lighter here and fade into almost complete darkness here. Next, I'm going to go in with my Lash Blast, ooh, Lash Blast Mascara. And I'm going to do that and then I will come back and we will finish the look. So now that I've done mascara, and make sure you know you want to keep, make sure that your eyes match. It's really important. I'm going to be using two um, different things on my cheek. First of all, I'm going to use my Duo Fiber Brush, and I'm going to be using my probably new favorite, um, kind of like a bronzer, but it's more like a, um, I don't know, it's like a shimmer. This is like the Skin Finish from MAC, and this is by Real Colors Bronze Glow. I don't know, it's baked, it says. Um, but I got it at Sally's. It's like $8. And this one's called Tropical Glow. And I really like it because it's a coppery color and has a little bit of a pink undertone. And I like it because it's not super obvious that you have it on. You know, you can... It's like real buildable. Then, next, I'm going to be using... Um, this is by Glow Professional and it's called Spiceberry. Um, it's just a real warm mid-tone red has a little bit of a coral undertone but it's definitely a deeper tone and last um, I bought this when I was at the IMATS and um, I've been really loving it lately. It's pretty much the most amazing lip gloss I've ever had. Um, this is the Lip Tar. And I use it in clear because I like that I can add pigment to it. But I'm not going to add any today. Um, the cool thing is is you can just uh, use your finger to, you, to do it. Or a lip brush. doesn't matter. Just like that, and the look is complete. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments or anything, leave them below. Um, this is like this was a this is like my default look. This is what I wear pretty much whenever I can't figure out what I want to dress up or what I want to wear, what eyeshadow I want to wear, or any of that. So this is kind of what I do um, on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments or anything, leave them below. And thank y'all for watching.